take 5,000, okay? Seems like it just is memory cards filling up, all sorts of stuff. So anyways, guys, welcome back to another episode of Schofield Welding. In this episode, we're gonna go ahead and talk about beveling machines. What is usually required on a job, I'm not gonna say all the time, but what's usually required on a job, how to set them up, and, uh, and different aspects of the beveling machines, all right? So everybody stay tuned. Guys, like, like always, if you ever find anything useful in these videos or you just wanna support us, don't forget to share these videos. Hit the subscribe, hit the notification. We really appreciate all you guys do for us. Thank you for everything. So everybody be blessed. Hope you enjoy the episode. We'll talk to you here in just a sec. All right, you guys, welcome back, all right? So what we are doing today, let's talk about some beveling machines. Now guys, usually what is required on a job is a two to four and a three to eight beveling machine that's like 80 percent of the time it is that is a requirement that is on your truck that is what they are renting from you and so your your two to four and your three to eight is normally something that you need to be carrying so the brands we're going to be talking about today is the matthew dearman brands now i've always had matthew dearman brands i love a matthew dearman brand and i'll explain why number one the saddles are a lot more narrow all right which means you can make a tighter cut in a tighter area that's one thing I really enjoy about it. Everything's pretty centered on the machine. The, the saddles are really narrow on them, like I said. And they're just a great functioning machine. They're just, it's a time saver. They're worth their money in gold. If you get caught cutting like eight inch with a skinny wheel and you're over there grinding bevels and these guys over here are cutting with bevelers, uh, you probably will be asked to leave. So, that's just something to think about, all right? So guys, I'm gonna do an unboxing right now. We have a six to 12. Matthew Dearman Beveler right here. The three to eight is a nice machine to have, okay? When I first started welding uh, for, the, for the oil field and all that, I always had a two to four and a six to 12. That covered me for everything except for five inch mud line, which was crazy, because I'd never welded five inch mud line until 2016. What we did is we actually took our three, to, our three to eight, went into a machine shop, they machined us some five inch dogs, and that's how we did that. They do have their place, they're an awesome machine, but your two to four and your six to 12 will cover everything. The only problem is, is your short barrel, so this is considered a short barrel torch. They will not cut six inch pipe. Um, you gotta be so careful too, because if you go from six inch on a 12 inch beveler, uh, there's a lot of area right there for slop and you can start getting pretty crooked cut So my suggestion for you get all three and you're gonna be set for everything and they're just handy to have So and we'll go back into talking about the short barrels and the long barrels and things that different about those two All right, so let's do an unboxing really quick We're gonna go ahead and and I pulled the dogs and we'll talk about dogs here in just a second too. This is what determines your pipe size and how to cut it, all right? So this is a 2SA saddle machine, which is a 12 inch machine. Okay, so what comes into a, what comes in a beveling machine box? Now I'm gonna lean this up so that you guys can kind of see what's in it. All right, without dumping the machine out. So this is how it comes. These are highly important. You gotta be really careful with these because if you start, cranking on setting in your torch on these you can crack these bridges this is all cast aluminum so uh super good quality stuff but if you are not careful with them you can't tweak them and these are really high dollar machines too so you want to be really careful with them so this is your torch setup this is what holds your torch this is what it goes together this is how it looks when it's all together this is how it looks when it's all together this is what's going to hold your torch okay so you guys got a basic idea of, of what it looks like in the box what comes in a 12 inch beveler? So like I said, the dogs come in a 12 inch beveler, all your dogs will come in it, and then you have your beveling machine. Now this, bev this beveling machine is brand new. And so guys, one thing about these things, you gotta be really careful about how you set them down and just, just take care of your equipment. It's part of owning these is taking i mean you can tell that these have been used they've got soot all over on them they probably need cleaned up but one thing is you don't throw them on your trucks don't ever drop them take care of them these are these are timed they're machined they are built to cut square so really take care of your stuff set them down soft don't let your teeth get banged up and, and always just try to keep them timed keep them really just nice all right i just can't stress that enough Keep your bevelers nice. This is gonna be your time saver if they start cutting out of whack or out of square or whatever. 
Uh, it just costs time. It's gonna make a heck of a lot more effort trying to clean up bevels and it's just gonna suck. So just take care of your stuff. So we're gonna set this one up. It's pretty easy. It's just got a little turnkey deal right there. And it just slides right onto that saddle. Turn it and then crank it up. Now, on these bevelers, the way they're set is they have two studs that come right out of the wheel. This is what I call my wheel. This is, your, this is your gear system. This is what's turning around the pipe to create the bevel. These are your gears that turn it. The chain system on the back is connected to your handle. All right, makes sense? So they're turning to create your, to create your bevel, to get the cut all the way around. So this goes right on here. Get that set on there. So in your dogs, oh, there are two wing nuts in here. Just put that on there, cinch it down. Cinch it down, okay. So this beveler is set up. Now the only difference is, is we do not have our dogs, we don't have our pipe sizes in here. So right now we're cutting eight inch. And I'm gonna show you how to cut eight inch with the 12 inch, but uh, this is also an eight inch machine, so this will actually cut it as well. The dogs. The dogs are a machined round stock, which is machined to your different pipe sizes. So on the box, they are, it'll tell you what that is for. So this, this dog is for 10 inch, the next size up is for eight inch, and the next size up is for six inch. Now I'll pull all these out so you can kind of see. All right. So there's your six inch, there's your eight inch, there's your 10 inch, and there's your 12 inch. Those are your dog sets. There's four of each, and then you go ahead and you put them in here. So what we're getting ready to do, we're gonna cut for eight inch. So I'm gonna find all my eight inch dogs. And I need one more set. Okay. And guys, you just be careful with these. Don't crank on the machines, don't, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I really don't even use a crescent wrench on them. Never, if you can avoid it at all costs, when you go to tighten up your, your bridges and stuff, try to just use your fingers as much as you can because as soon as you put a crescent wrench on it, it I don't know if it stretches the aluminum or what's it, what's it, what it does to it, but it you'll never be able to use your fingers again on it. That's the thing that I'm trying to get to is it, it stretches them and it, Makes them tough to use. So we're gonna throw these dogs on here real quick. Get you an idea of what we're doing here. Now when you go to lay this down like this, your bridge is so important. Do not just drop it on that bridge. A lot of guys won't even lay it down like that because of that bridge. So this is set up for an eight inch piece of pipe. So we're just gonna stick this on here for just a second. Well, we talk about and just be careful with them most of the time unless I really trust the helper I won't really let them use a beveler uh, just because of the price on them they're they're really expensive <coughs> but they are worth every penny of it okay good tension but not so much that it's just cranking on that Okay, now that we got this set up, I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna talk about torches. So, these are your short barrels and your long barrels. Now, when you start getting into the, your eight and six inch heights right here, you have to use a long barrel. One of the disadvantages of that is, like, instead of having all three of your bevelers to where you can just use a short barrel, <clears throat> if you use a two to four and a six to 12, you have to buy both torches. Now, I remember buying this torch, it was right during the big, big boom. Um, it was, it was not cheap. It was like, I think I paid 600 or $700 for the, for the, for the barrel. Then I had another hundred dollars in the knuckle and like another hundred into the donut. It was crazy. I, I spent a lot of money on that, but I don't think they're quite that much anymore. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't priced one out for a long time, but we'll get into the knuckle and the donut here in a bit. Like I said, if you only run a two to four and a six to 12, you have to buy both barrels. So right now we're set up in an eight inch. We're going to have to use the long barrel. 
with these torches there are two different kinds of tips you can use now this is a pre-bent tip all right this isn't a scarfing tip this is actually just a pre-bent tip that you can buy and I mean, they're, they're quite a bit more money than a straight tip. Now, I've been using bent tips for a really long time and I enjoy them and they're, they're great, they're fast because one of the things I like about them is you can leave your connection straight up and down. Stick your barrel in there and then what's happening is once you make your cut, then all you gotta do is just twist it, okay? You're ready to cut again and it's cutting the other way. Now, with this, you have to actually take the whole component off, flip it around so that the barrel's facing the other way. That's one disadvantage of a straight tip, but I will, I got to say, I think a straight tip makes a better cut. It's a prettier cut and uh, a lot less prep, but you can also make a, make a curved tip just as pretty, all right? Just takes a little more effort, I think, personally, but that's just, that's just a personal preference, all right? Straight tip, bent tip, two different tips. Let's go over here and I'll show you this. Like I said, the short barrel will not reach reach your bevel. So that's that's a problem with the short barrels. Now, if you're gonna run eight inches and 12 inches up here, or uh, eight and six inch cuts, you're gonna have to have a long barrel. Now, that's just part of the gig if you wanna do it, but it makes it handy. So, your long barrel's gonna fit right inside the pipe holder. Now, like I said, you guys, try your, try your hardest <clears throat> not to ever use a crescent wrench on these. Because as soon as you do, you'll have to use them forever. <clears throat> so pull this back where it belongs. Cinch it up. Bring it down. Basically, all you need is your hoses and a striker, and you're ready to make a bevel. <clears throat> now, all it is is just cranking this thing around, making your cut, and you can just see how much time saved is how much time is saved by using a beveling machine. Now this thing will pay for itself in time uh, over and over. You can see having all three of these. Now these are not cheap machines, okay? I'm not 100% sure what the prices are on them anymore. But I know you can buy them used. I bought these two used for about 1,500 bucks. Um, I think new, this one's 1,200, and I think new, this one is like right around 16. Um, the 12 inch beveler, I believe, is right around about 22, 24. So, like I said, they're not cheap, all right? $1,500 for two of these is, it's quite a bit of money out of your pocket, but in the end, like I said, if you get caught cutting eight inch carbon pipe with a skinny wheel and you're over here grinding it and putting a bevel on it, you probably are not gonna have a job. So, these are worth their money, they're worth every bit of it, and the time saved in using these machines is bar none, they're gonna pay for themselves over and over and over again. There are some jobs that you can rent out a 12 inch beveler while you're on the job. If you have a 12 inch beveler, sometimes you can negotiate for an extra hour, okay? A lot of guys don't carry a 12 inch beveler, so in my personal opinion, I love a 12 inch beveler. I love everything from two to 12, all right? So, that being said, Matthew Dearman, great, great pieces of equipment. You can find them used, probably right now you can find them used pretty good, but, um. I would definitely suggest buying good equipment. Matthew Dearman's always been good. I like Matthew Dearman. It's the bevelers that I use every day. Now, I want to get into, oh, the other thing we need to talk about is your dogs. Now, each beveler is going to come with a set of dogs. A two inch beveler, a two to four, actually comes with saddle dogs. So they don't come with round stock dogs, if that makes sense. Everything's called dogs. I don't know why, it's just what they call them what I've always called them but like I said so this is your three inch dog it is just a half moon saddle um, your four inch is actually just the beveler sitting on top so the dogs are completely out and the four inch is just the beveler so your eight inch dogs are actually a button uh, a button dog all right they're they're these little buttons right here so this one does require a set of dogs for your eight inch this one does not require a set of dogs for your four inch this one does require a set of dogs for your 12 inch they are the button tips. Now between this machine and this machine, your eight inch and your 12 inch, the dogs are interchangeable. So, that being said, always keep your dogs really nice, keep track of them. Um, one thing about these riding in the truck is they will rattle just a little bit, especially if you put them in toolboxes. Try to wrap them up, try to just keep them in a soft area, so that way if they do vibrate, they're, it's not banging up any of the aluminum and it's just keeping them really nice. Like I said, you can buy one of my bevelers from me. I'm not selling them, but I'm just saying, like if I ever did sell them, They've been taken care of really, really well. 
just because I know the price on them and I like taking care of my equipment and things that make me money, these are big pieces of that, all right? Next to the weld machine and the truck, your bevelers are probably your next most crucial thing. So, yes, okay. Now let's talk torches. Now Matthew Dearman does sell bevel bands. Now a bevel band is usually on bigger pipe, 16 inch, 24 inch, things like that. They use as a band and a crawler. Same concept, but instead of your torch sitting like this, it's now sitting like this, okay? It's sitting horizontal. The only way to make it work with a horizontal tip is you have to take this tip off, you put your donut on, so your donut's sitting over your, over your barrel, and then you have your knuckle. And that sits right here, and then you have a little button tip that fits in here. Now I haven't used this knuckle in quite a few years. Um, I think really the last, well the last big pipe job that we did um, was probably seven years ago or so. So that was probably the last time that this was used on that. Now we did, we've welded pipelines together, like that 16 inch line that we did about a year ago and things like that, but we didn't ever have to use this. We weren't the ones doing the tie-ins, we were just welding it together. So these are really handy to have. It's just a knuckle, it's a Victor knuckle and um, it gives you your degrees right along the head of it. Really nice to have. So different torch setups, different bevelers, all with the same idea, all right? So. Got your saddle. Each beveler comes with a saddle, each beveler comes with a set of dogs. So when you buy a beveling machine from Matthew Deerman, they are completely set up. Basically all you gotta do is get it out, stick your dogs in, stick it on a piece of pipe, start cutting. Guys, we really hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a really fun episode to bring to you. It was really awesome to be able to pull out all the beveling machines. Kind of show you what they do, how they work, how they go together, what to expect when you get one in a box, all right? Guys, Matthew Dearman products have always been a really good product for us. This is what I use on my truck. It's what my brothers use on their trucks. It's We all run Matthew Dearman beveling machines. So guys, if you ever have any questions about the Matthew Dearman products or about how the beveling machines work or things like that, go ahead, hit us up in the comment. We'd love to answer them. We'd love to try to help you out and just answer those questions that maybe you have about them. Guys, once again, thank you for everything you do for us. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that anytime we upload a new video, you guys are notified first. And just everything you guys do for us, we really do appreciate it. Everybody be blessed. Have a great rest of your night. We'll talk to you here in a bit.